Alex Hanser here, coming to you on the 15th of April in the year 2024. So, I want to return to this topic of truthing your community at a time in which people are concerned about the future. And when we go through eclipse season, there is a repeat of certain types of behavior that I identify as being under the influence of them, entities. Uh, darker spirits, arconic spirits, things of that nature. Or right now at a time in which a lot of people are influenced by those forces of destruction. Now we have <coughs> a serious problem with algorithmic manipulation, and I've talked to you a lot about what I've been through and why. Okay, so that's already been done. First cup of coffee in four days. Here we go. First cannabis real cannabis of quality in weeks. Time for a video. And yes, I quit YouTube for a couple of days and I'm back. However, I would like to reduce the amount of time that I spend on YouTube because basically what happens is I start early in the morning with a cup of coffee with like a bunch of videos and I'll be spending all day uploading those videos. And it's like, even though I'm entertaining you and stuff in my own personal life, I feel like I'm not getting anything done and I wanna write books I want to make um, an eight-hour documentary DVD set on the effect of the solar flares. It's going to blow the world away. That's going to reach people of various ethnicities and heritages. Also, I see myself communicating my ideas in foreign languages and using different personas at some point other than Alex Hansery and just truthing people and like truthing specifically the Islamic world uh, in where I feel they have blind spots in that culture and room for improvement. In the same way that I've been giving you tips, I think that the Arabic world and the Afghan world needs to hear from Alex Hansery in their tongue because they're not, they're surely not listening to me in English. I look forward to some of the traveling I'll be doing in the near future and videos I'll be record recording for you. Uh, I am trying to get a dental implant. You know, I spent a lot of money, invested a lot in this dental school and we had a fast heartbeat due to coffee that day. And I realize it's not just the coffee. I have a fast heartbeat anyways. Um, and I attribute that to just, you know, just a sense of uh, being lack of at ease in that environment. Whereas, you know, I consider myself fine at home. You know, whatever it is, is not something that I think is a big deal. You know, it's not something I should be afraid of talking about. I don't need to go see the doctor, but according to them, I do. And I have to get like a note, a permission note or something, maybe even get on some low blood pressure meds just to get the implant finished. It's ridiculous, man. I wish I never went through with it. But anyways, today, and this works best when you have it on a flat surface. So I've been getting up two o'clock at three o'clock in the morning on a pretty regular basis, doing deep breathing for two to three hours the last couple of days getting that Zen space and then going through the magical battle of Britain by Dion fortune. And then there's sections of it that I am, uh, copy and pasting. This was a Celtic woman in Europe, uh, that was, uh, countering what was happening out of Germany at that time. And I believe that we need to invoke those spiritual forces to overcome the unseen realms. I believe that we need to become confident enough in each other that if we were to work together and hold hands, so to speak, energetically, that telepathically, we could do something powerful with our minds. And that's the real reason why spiritual groups end up infiltrated and leaders end up ultimately taken over by arconic entities. I've seen it. It's not obvious to a lot of people. The arconic takeover of your local off-grid cult leader, it is not necessarily clear to people that have been raped by aliens and written books about it. How do I know these things? Because I've observed things that I haven't told you about. Okay, now, in another box, I have journals regarding my off-grid journey. Some people are still unclear as to the things that I went through up there. And the amount of things that I observed from local people on social media that identified to me the true nature of consciousness where I lived and it wasn't pretty. And I documented some of those things that I noticed in social media groups and journals like these. 
And the stack of journals that I have all together that still have yet to be put into books, books, is about yay big. In other words, it's quite a bit of content. So within the Alex Hansery stories, story, there is the observations that I made about society during the bloody years of 2016, 2017, 2018, and 2019. And now that we are at eclipse season, there is a consciousness alive that is a predatory consciousness, an iconic consciousness, and it is taking people over. Now, I do not want to sound critical of black women that have red hair by making the following statement, okay? But I do want to point out, I am noticing all of a sudden a uptick of a certain gender and heritage, race, perceived race, whatever, wearing red hair all of a sudden, whereas previously it was Portland women, Caucasians, blue hair, green hair, and then feeling that, not to judge, but a certain segment of it, it's almost as if it's a hallmark of the arconic interference of being possessed. This, this, this ugly hair dye, like I must look so ugly type look. I know it's fashion, but some of these fashions seem... Our society, folks, is really manipulated in ways that we don't understand. So let's talk about this. Right now, you have access... A lot of you, especially if you have money and you got money that you can buy on a computer. So, for example, my computer costs about 300, but its value is about 1000. It, 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 my hard drive's full. It's just full. I got to empty it. But its performance is way better than the Walmart computers that I had in the past. And so on modern day computers, there are certain software programs. Unlike 2005, even though they had weapons of mass destruction, drones that can kill you from a distance, the computers, though, were really primitive. And now they're getting a lot more advanced, along with the different um, AI programs, some of them uh, nefarious, very nefarious. Water is important. Taking days off coffee is important. Ashwagandha. Take a couple right here. I'm not in an area in which I'm able to get uh, good food. Hmm? Not really. But I went on some road trips recently. And I'd like to see better places in middle America. And I don't, own, I don't own anyone. So I go through these places in middle America on the road. And the experiences are less than positive. The energy is very, keep going, keep going. The energy in the past was very much feeling stalked by cops. I don't sense that at present. I don't sense that malicious nature. I haven't really had like direct malicious exchanges that I can think of since Costilla County and aspects of Portland. I think Portland has changed. There is someone nice from Portland. We'll just call him Jeff. I don't want to call him by his codename. We'll, we'll call him Jeff. And he has some interesting observations about Portland and noted that he felt some intense energy around the exact time that I was painting that symbol. Now, the colors that Dion Fortune used in the Magical Battle of Britain that they invoked on the astral plane, the inner planes, was red, blue, and purple, purple for Master Jesus. Yes, it sounds a little new aging, and some people really don't like her for other reasons, and she was connected to some questionable folks. But I felt out her energy for years, perhaps her to me from a spirit. I'm assuming she's still around. And I see how this can be applied to different faiths, in fact. It's not limited to just one faith. But it definitely can be applied to Christianity. Okay. Um, my thumb has healed up. It stung for about two days. But anytime you get something new from eBay, and I would definitely recommend this. But anytime you get something, be careful with it and respect it, okay? It's not a toy, and I don't carry these things with me in public because I certainly wouldn't want to use it. This is like a great steak knife, right? And it's attractive, okay? It has, it has a nice weight to it. And there's a lot of garbage martial arts weapons and knives that are out there, okay? Um... And so periodically I'll go outside without being obnoxious and like a dork about it and just. Shh. 
this is an environment, unfortunately, where people don't necessarily respect other people's space. And so even though some people on the internet like to instill fear and whatnot, there really are people that like to idle their vehicles outside their house because they really are, even if we're paranoid, on their phone. On their phone, not realizing that somebody inside doesn't like people so close to them sitting there on their phone. So I'll be aware on an intuitive level every time they're outside and there's a car there and I'll be looking and all of a sudden they'll feel my presence. They'll feel that AA stare through the window, outside, all of a sudden the car's taken off. Very suspicious. It's like, this is very suspicious. Just idling their car, very suspicious, and then taking off. That is normal in places where people are so cracked out. And I'm noticing this when I drive around. People that are walking uh, in slow motion, like, moo, moo, like trying really hard, trying really hard to get to the other side of the street. Anyway, this is some sort of a keychain item. I'm not sure what they call this. This is not what I would consider to be a lethal item. But say you have a female in your life that really has a hard time with the idea of, say, Nux, or say, what I want to recommend, I don't own one, don't own one. But it looks to me like something that would be decent for a female to prevent trafficking a hand dagger. A hand dagger that, that's in the palm. Okay, women in certain areas, I think are more at danger of being kidnapped. And I don't have a secret agenda for saying, watch yourself out there. And so in a future video, I can maybe try to give some tips on awareness and warning signs with regards to human trafficking, and maybe do a brief study on what other people have said is out there. But really, I first wanna go with what I know and my common sense. And people need to be intuitive and not be so easily swayed by people playing game. So I know exactly what you call this, but some people are going to have a moral qualm with a hard, blunt object, and I do, and, and stabbing someone. It's just a moral thing, whereas others, they think nothing about taking a life. It's really unfortunate. But this is something with enough weight, with enough weight, yes, right there, that stung. With enough weight, that's right, at the right spot, you should be able to defend yourself without causing, like, extreme extreme danger um this is a time for new ideas to be written down okay so i have a lot of ideas and so do some of you so even if you're not commenting now on my videos or they're not open or sending emails you might have spurts of insight and you might not know what to do with it being that you're not a content creator and you're not on social media you're just hitting clip play on this but you might be noticing the synchronicities synchronicities with numbers with places with things so that is something that i would advise you to be uh to be on the watch for so dvds you can easily hand out dvds in your community okay that are hosted by you that could either feature you, but if you want to protect your, I talked about this today in the members area podcast, where I drove around town and had that fast moving energy rain through me. And um, now it's, it's, I'm a lot calmer with my coffee and my uh, th THC full dose. So I create lots of content folks when I'm in my zone. And uh, plus the ashwagandha on top of it. And what else? Oh, lots of cleansing stuff. Lots of cleansing stuff. Lots of spurla. Uh, organic kale powder, kale powder today. Coconut oil pulling. And again, even if they booted me from the, from the dental school, I was not amplified from the magnetic storms. They were not amplified from the magnetic storms. We've had a couple solar flares pop off, but we do not have any significant geomagnetic storms because March is one of the three time periods of the year in which we see more solar activity. The next one is July. Okay. For those that don't know, and the next one is October. Okay. And every 27 to 28 days, the sun rotates as such, we get a certain amount of solar energy. So even during the solar minimum period, we still get some form of solar energy. And without that, um, things would be very, very dark and different here on the earth. Massive infertility, massive decline of the population. So you can create something with CapCut 
And I think that I'm going to pay for the the plugins for CapCut. Um, I'm thinking today maybe about a number of different videos. So I may just upload this since I'm in the mood, in the zone. Upload this and then upload others. So maybe we'll try to keep this under, under 23 minutes. Um, you can create your own show with CapCut even without the plugins. If I do the plugins, though, I think because it's owned by China, they should probably get one of those debit cards. But it's prepaid. What do you think? I want to hear from some of you, but I don't want you to waste your time with the YouTube comment section because they don't respect you. They shut up ban you. They delete your comments in the past. It's not worth your time and energy. If you really want to think through what you want to communicate to me, it's not a bad deal to write me straight four paragraphs at a time when you're ready to do the email and really think through what you're going to say. I like well thought out emails and I'm not happy with a former volunteer that I had run my emails, delete everything. I do want to have volunteers help me deal with the communication side of things to get on other shows because as an individual, I don't have the people skills and the temperament necessary to deal with the quirky personalities that I find out there in the field, to be quite frank with you. I find myself a little disappointed with certain personalities that I need to be mature enough now after this eclipse and just move on with from, from the past. Oh, I'll write a book about it. It's coming, folks. There's going to be stuff that you've never heard about from me that you need to so you have an understanding of how hard I fought for you. Even if I've been marginalized as this and that, I fought for like a lot of people in my lifetime. And some people that are new to my work don't know that. And not everybody that's been following all of my YouTube videos knows everything that's been happening behind the scenes, okay? And in the end, AI and the government know way more about the positive things and the positive posts that I've made that have been shadow banned than you. A lot of posts, former posts that were put on Facebook that I made, just so you know, I started making a book based on my Facebook posts because some of it's deep. Some of it's predicting things in Portland before it happened, like the cuddle house that Stephanie opened and then closed, which I megaphoned. I megaphoned, hop it up and down to Madonna's material girl, to Stephanie's cuddle house. And that was fun doing that with Aaron, although it wasn't fun when goons told him to stop filming and he obliged. That disappointed me. Um... When I look at the Portland news, it looks like complete mayhem, right? I am, I am going to keep creating content. This week, I did not send them that last show that you saw from me on Substack. You can see it for free on Substack. Um, I decided to just not even go there and just, it's there for you. It was meant for them. <laughs> but I decided to focus on the news that needed to be covered. And so the video that was uploaded by me nine days ago on the dystopian path that Portland's taken with a flashback from me with a little bit of music underneath, um, that is going to play in, in Portland. All I've really been asking for is some sort of a sign. And I don't think Jeff, our man in Portland, because that's what we need. We need conscious viewers in Portland, even if it's just one. We need conscious viewers in New York, you know, just one. We need conscious viewers in Florida, even though it's just one. We need conscious viewers throughout the South, even if it's just a few, okay, in areas where there's a lot of people, we need to see more viewers and people sharing the content. Same thing with Colorado, off-grid, places that are my old stomping grounds, Costilla, Archuleta. I, I'd like to hear from you if you're watching in that and you're enjoying. Every now and again, I get a like on Facebook. Um, we, we have had our communications jammed by some dark energies in the last couple of weeks, okay? How do you like them apples? We have had our communications jammed, okay, by dark forces in the last couple of weeks. Okay, so even if you don't want to create your own channel, and I don't say you should only support my work, but, you know, I'm not going to support other people's work if I don't agree with what they're saying, right? But if you are really into veganism or some sort of niche and you want to promote things in your community, you know, the algorithm in some cases is not on your side. And in some cases you have to go directly to, I hate to word the, use the word customer and I hate to use the word target, but you need to know like the people that you're reaching and you need to, I just like to sometimes just do a, you need to be realistic about the consciousness that they're at. 
And it is spiritual, not arrogant, to reach them where they're at. And sometimes I don't want to do that. Sometimes you see me, I'm like, I'm going to be up here in the clouds. You need to be up here. And a lot of people are like, huh? I seriously don't get this magnetic stuff. I think, folks, more people now get it than they used to. Solar stuff and solar channels are very, very popular at this time. And it has nothing to do with me. Nor should it. But what I'm saying about the sun and the magnetic field, the influence on wars, unfortunately, R-A-P-E, not just consensual baby making, but the dark side too. People getting stuffed in cars. People walking up with guns drawn, taking a girl away from her family, taking her to some, you know, like we've seen these stories around the time of the eclipse. And so it, it did occur to me, I did some traveling road tripping I still haven't shared with you the videos. I still haven't shared with you the podcast because it, sometimes it takes hours and hours and hours to edit. And I just don't want to do it. <clears throat> so it's never been easier to do your own show with the laptop, with USBs. I showed you that I'm using a cheap laptop here. It's just some background light, not necessary. This is more a makeshift studio and um, this is more like my own energy than previous studios and spaces, what I have right now. It has my own energy. It's way more authentic. Access TV had a, <clears throat> you noticed my old stuff when I was young in that studio. I was very high energy. And it, it was also the fact that a lot of, I had a lot of lights on me and I had people around me. I was live and, and <clears throat> there were a number of shows that were going on all day long in that studio, okay? Now called Open Signal. And there was a certain energy in that room that was spiritual, right? There was different religious shows that were going on in that room. And again, um, in the era in which it was analog before digital, right? In the era in which it was analog, the connection with the Portland, Oregon audience seemed magical and authentic. Um, something, something happened. I'm not blaming it just on the digital. I'm just saying at the time in which we went from analog to digital, we went from Bush to Obama, the cell phones came out and there was an attitude within management at access TV that, Oh, just put everything on the internet, everything, internet, internet, this internet, that, um, you know, so you're looking at a future author, by the way, of a guy who's going to be talking about the paranormal and the internet. That's right. Now, who was I talking to the other day that talked about 2003 and Slender Man? It may have been Gypsy. I'm not sure. Me and Gypsy did talk behind the scenes for a couple of hours. We may talk again soon and talk about defense regarding the paranormal and the types of things that can happen when you van dwell as far as spiritual attacks. If they see you van dwelling, Okay, you can be targeted by people that don't want you there. Especially if you've been there for a prolonged period of time and you look like you're living in your vehicle, it's not fun. And it's not cheap to stay in hotels or motels, nor is it comfortable, nor do I find a lot of these cheap motels to be staffed by respectful uh, employees or management even if they come from other countries. And I've tried to be nice to some of these folks. The nasty really comes out when you try to hold them accountable for their bad service. So megaphoning is one thing and that has its place. So is, so is creating a YouTube channel, whether you put yourself out there or your name or some city, some code, something, and then stand by say uh, a freeway. And instead of I haven't done it yet, but it's an idea. There's always those folks that'll snap a picture of your sign. I know a lot of people program for the QR code. But in this day and age of shadow banning and people need information, they need maybe somebody like you to step up to the plate if you have advanced knowledge of how to prepare your local community. And that includes spiritually. And so when I talk about the DVD outreach program, okay, I'm talking about spiritual and physical preparedness and advice and bringing people together of different backgrounds and people of different levels of intelligence working together and people working together, men working together in communities where we have, they have to coordinate defenses to protect against criminals. They're going to be coming in and snatching women. They're going to be walking around 
unaware of the situation that they're in and uh, dependent on their cell phones, which won't be there for them when they are in a uh, attempting kidnapped kidnapping situation. So a lot of people, a lot of women in America with a lot of good men that have been forced out through various means, they're in for a rude awakening. Mark Passio says a lot of very important things on his broadcast that I agree with. Then he says other things for his reasons that he, that, you know, he thinks it's new age, apparently, to talk about the idea of uh, entities flowing between partners. But it is true that somebody can't project onto somebody else if they have a negative situation with someone relationship-wise that it was a result of some sort of alien. And that can be an expression of hatred if they treat somebody else like they're not even a human being. And so if you can dehumanize someone and say they're not even a human being, then you don't treat them as a human being. You treat them as a subhuman. And so that's the dark side of the modern reality that Americans are in, that the planet is in, that the people of India are in. And by the way, why was India all of a sudden showing this mass persecution of Muslims? And then all of a sudden, it's not. Did something change? Was it just some sort of a temporary? Is there an author? Is there some sort of a documentary on what's going on in India? But it's like, that's not an accident for the algorithm to all of a sudden do that, for it to all of a sudden be saying that people are saying death to America. Sure, maybe some are in Michigan. And if they were saying it across the world, what is the role that social media is playing? You know, I'm at some discount store the other day. I got more stories. I'm going to cap this at 30 and maybe come back with more. I'm at the store the other day and this older man's like, damn cell phones these or kids these days, they're not aware of this, that, and the other. And I'm like, well, it's the cell phones and the algorithm. And I guess by saying algorithm, I sounded too smart for him. But definitely he profiled me as an old fart wearing my um, button-down blue shirt, trying to look a little bit more professional when I go out. I'm starting to realize, man, damned if you do, damned if you don't. People look at you like you're a bum if you don't dress nice enough. And if you dress too nice or wear a suit jacket, Oh, watch out. They'll think that you're think that you're something. And maybe you shouldn't walk around with a nice watch when you're in a store like that. And maybe you should just look like a bum and all depressed like everybody else. Like there is like folks, an aspect to my current environment where everyone and everything is lifeless. And so I have to spend a lot of time away from email, days at a time. I'm sorry, but I have to. And I come back and I put out some content and then I go back away. And I spend my time in nature, barefoot. I'm driving. I'm planning some road trips. I'm going to get this tooth figured out or finished. But this has been like, there's been a lot, lot of uh, time and more put into this whole thing. Anyways, there are more symbols, not necessarily solar based, that I think are worth drawing. Even coming up with, you can come up with your own symbol. If you're to start a company, by the way, in case you didn't know that, you don't always have to have AI create your symbol for you, although some people do that. I want to create a symbol, and I'm drawn to certain things, and I don't believe that I've lived just once on this earth. And I believe that we are shamed in this world, away from being creative, and nurturing that inner spark and light, that which makes us human. And we are hated. Remember, we are hated by these entities. When we boost our light and when we inspire others and when we heal others with our words. So let's go back to this DVD project. Then come back to it, come back to it, and maybe I'll hear from some of you. You can download my videos or others, but I'm talking about you doing your own show at your own home. You can do the voice changer. You can alter your appearance through some way. You can use AI for the visual if you want. You could be a, a, a blue-eyed, blonde-haired lady, if need be, with some sort of AI program and, and speak, speak to a level that some people are receptive to using AI, right? But do it for a moral ethical reason. Unfortunately, it's being used for dark reasons. And that's why I advocate books, reading, meditation, direct communication with God. I have mentioned Sufi Reality's channel, but I'm not Muslim and I don't watch him every day and I don't agree with everything he has to say. And I say things that he doesn't say and that's fine. And I may also watch someone that, you know, occasionally talks about Babylonian astrology, Christianity. There's the teachings of the Bible. I believe in, in having discernment myself. I don't foresee myself becoming a member of any religion in the future. And I know that I'm a disappointment to my father and his family. 
as far as my mom's family, they're 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 kind of in their own little world. Um, as far as others that I've talked about, they're in a lot of pain right now, and so are you. A lot of people in this world have been traumatized from these manufactured crises that we, the humans, have been put under. You know, and so in a way, like we are about to reach this point in which. It's like, yeah, I was recording a lot of videos that you haven't seen yet. It's like right now in this total eclipse, even though it's spiritual, people are going, ooh, ah. And they might have felt euphoric and unsubscribed to me. They found that I was dissing on it because they were doing it. It's not that I'm dissing on you. It's that I'm suspicious of the whole thing. Go out, look at the eclipse. Here, here's some glasses. Here, here's a million glasses. Hey, we help. some people need health care. Here, some people need food. Here, some people, here, there's a pothole over here. Here, you have some criminals running wild over here. You have some innocent people doing time over here or whatever. You have a bunch of screwed up stuff. Oh, here, everybody get some glasses. And then TikTok, TikTok, same TikTok that brought you that migrant that said, we're going to come up in your homes. And then you got Clyde Lewis and others. Let's take this and make it seem like the migrants are coming up in your homes. Well, then any type of moral, is this right or wrong? Why, why Clyde, would you go with that? I see that there's this contact in the desert thing coming up. Tom Dash will be there. What a looker, hubba hubba. Might want to take a look at that one. And uh, Clyde Lewis, the whole gang's there. Clyde Lewis, just never mind. Just I'm letting it go. But I already told the story. Check it out in the past video. You have a lot of people that I consider being in the network and that they have these anti-themism attitudes. And they have these gatekeeping um, mentalities and people around them, yes men around them. In this network of syndicated radio broadcasters, in this world of mainstream conspiracy theory. Folks, I am an underdog. I am a renegade. But with your help... With enough financial support, I could come independent and travel anywhere I want on the planet. Sure, we may be facing mass disaster. I've been preparing for this day for most of my life, but I'm willing to believe that something positive can happen. Now, I will say that I did do the whole pray for thy enemies thing or thy perceived enemies and say we don't have to have enemies. And I've prayed for specific people, but have not seen a retraction of said negative behavior from multiple people that will not be named, right? But I've done the whole, I hope they will get better thing. Maybe they are on some level. I really don't know. But I see signs of like not getting better and not being intelligent and not being very good listeners to podcasts that I put out like for months and months, being very detailed about very specific scenarios and outcomes. Speaking in a pretty repetitive tone, actually, over and over and over. I mean, how many times do I have to talk about the events that led to me leaving the land? So like my mind just gets blown that some people don't listen very well when they're told the first time everything, or maybe they just don't, aren't able to identify which podcast discusses it at length in maybe three hours or four hours. Just wow. And then I was really hoping like G-Man would come around and follow through and, and hear some of the things that I said and kind of take that constructive feedback. Being where he is on the West Coast, I bet he is also overtaken by the Eclipse vibes. So let me tell you this. I did think that there would be some sort of event. And um, I'm not saying that Iran is innocent. I've always said, and so have others, that Iran is part of this new world order. They're not nice to the Afghan refugees, from what I've heard. They're, they're horrible to their own people. So they're not exactly, like, innocent, and they don't represent the Islamic world. And they're, and they're tied in with Russia. So whatever's going to happen here with, with Iran... And Israel striking Iran, you know, Russia will be involved and China will be involved and we'll be in World War III soon. Unless, of course, it's all just stage and, you know, I'm just looking at it too seriously. But I don't believe that I am looking at it too seriously. I believe that I'm looking at it very, very, very accurately. And I'll tell you, if I had like a good heroic dose of MDMA, the types of stuff that I would be able to record for you on video would just be above and beyond. And why not? It's been over 10 years. But I currently don't know where in America that place is, right? But I'm telling you, the scientific advancement has come a long way. And in analyzing how the brain goes through changes when there's magnetic fields in a room, the MIT study documented that in April of 2019, right? That's very, very important. They have weaponized this. There's articles we've seen years ago how people walking by certain kiosks in the UK, which are hearing voices in their friggin' head. 
because of like some sort of technology emanating from a machine. Did they say, hey, you can you can beam your magnetic waves into my brain and put a voice in my brain? Oh, that's totally okay. So if they're willing to do that on the street level, what's really going on? People are naive if they want to kind of dissect and go, we're just going to look at human-based mind control and completely dis upon any perception of the supernatural. To me, that type of attitude is just completely like indicative of them as far as I'm concerned. So you can put together a show, half hour in length, one hour in length. You can use, say, cap cut and... You can alter your appearance in some way if you don't want people to see you. And you can drop that information off via DVD or flash drive. I would totally like recommend bypassing right, the cell phone. And a lot of people still do have DVDs, whereas I'm told flash drives are already obsolete and everybody's doing the QR code. So yes or no, do people still watch DVDs? Yes or no? The answer right now in 2024 is yes. So that's your go-to. Okay. Now, what would you say on that DVD? We're already over on time. What would you say on that DVD? At minimum. You want people prepared. Okay, at minimum. What should people do to get prepared? Well, they should have their own food and water and be able to communicate with other men and people that are armed and people that have supplies and truckers. So everybody should at least have some sort of communications. So walkie-talkies, everybody on, say, 311, channel 311 or 4-9 in, say, some community and or CB radio, specify the channel. Or you could say, there will be a certain radio broadcast on this channel, channel 19, at 1 o'clock in the afternoon for 5 minutes or 10 minutes, and I'll talk about the local news of the day. And you just get, like, the local preppers used to, like, communicating on these because right now people are already on that wavelength. Okay, let's prepare. Let's prepare for the EMP. Let's prepare for all to be wiped out. And I added, and I spent hours and hours, so you know, going through the AI-fed transcript of my three-hour interview with the late, great Matthew Stein, who wrote Wintech Fails, because I felt in spirit that before I went on Coast to Coast on over 600 stations, although they couldn't really tell from the after report, the audience response was worse than even 2019, believe it or not. That, that says more, not just about Coast to Coast, the, the staff, and then cutting me off before the show was over, whether it was George Norrie's perception himself, maybe getting little voices in the head. Bro, this guy's nuts. Cut him off. I listened to part of it. I know I was talking a little bit fast. I should have kept going. And they should have asked me in that last half hour to talk more about this stuff. Also, have you noticed that some of the same callers on Coast to Coast? Hi, I just want to ask your caller. Um, so, so what do you think about the equator... Bay. I'm like, what the? Well, I'm not sure what you're asking, but blah, blah, blah. how about that? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> My lord. Back to contact in the desert. So you got all these, like, you know, guys that I'm trying to be nice here, but missed a few days at the gym that are like the titans of radio here. You got Clyde here. You got Tam Di Diaz D Tom Dizenauer, who I guess is like a coast to coast executive, who I guess does stunts for Rush Limbaugh. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, right. These guys probably think I'm a freaking fruit loop. Hey, just because my cell phone malfunctioned and I failed to properly prep for that in the way that I could for that emergency, I'm sorry, but my information was golden and you should, if I was right about a speed in the wars by the mid 2020s, why would George Norrie story not pick answer his brain while you had me on the air? You had me on the air. Why did you not pick my brain? I know Alex Jones listened to that. I know other people listen to that. I know Clyde Lewis listened to that. And I'm telling you, folks, there's something rotten in Denmark when these people can't give me credit. They should be interviewing me. Okay, Amy Goodman should want to interview me. Why not? Why would Amy Goodman and the left not want to interview me if they supposedly care about all these people? It's, it's and I'm not going to crack conspiracy Right? It's just a low vibrational state that a lot of people are in. And I don't want to let that lower vibrational state pull me into the bottom either. That came to me also. We want to be grounded to the earth, but we won't, don't want to be sucked in like undertow to the darkness. 
Yeah. And we want to like reach up to the stars. But I guess we don't want to be so ungrounded that we fly off into like space pretty much. Yeah. So it does seem like we're being seated for something between this eclipse and 2026. That this solar cycle is going to give birth to life to things other than humans. You've heard it here first. But not just recently. I said this before to you. What did I say before? <clears throat> the solar cycle, I think, gives birth to that which also feeds on us. So we're all like, yay, solar cycle, right on. Woo-hoo, solar cycle, solar power. But there's this other crazy shit that comes up on the side. We're sitting out doing the tanning, growing the food. Oh, yay, solar power. And then the Arconic world comes in with their stage wars with that rape energy, with that mind control over the men and women, with the dark sun. I have not studied jack squat in this life that I know of about black sun nothing. Never even cracked the book, and I've got him. Just don't even look at it. There's a lot of things that I've talked about intuitively that can be backed up when we look at that. That There's like an inversion of the force, Luke, that they, the Nazis, others have been using. And we need to bring light to this and not be afraid of it. There are dark uses of the cross with the dot in the middle. Okay, there are dark, there, there's a NATO and even a CIA, I think, depiction of the eight spokes. But I think as Jeff pointed out, which we'll call him in Portland, we have the eight spokes. And Jeff, I have not studied Buddhism seriously in a while, but I do have this book on Buddhism back here, which is a mirror copy of the copy I picked up on Hawthorne in the 90s. And so I, I sense a lot of gnosis in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so one of the things you can do with the DVD is you can direct them to a website. You can direct them to a post office box. You can troop them now before the collapse. Direct them to a post office box. Don't use your real name unless you really want to. I do, but I'm suggesting that some of you be smarter than me and like, you know, save yourselves. And like some of you, like you're not ready to put yourself out there where well, you don't necessarily have to put out your full identity and everything in your full life history to truth your community. You can do an incognito, especially for those of you that have property, assets, family, that you wouldn't want them, you know, to, to either know about what you're doing or to be harmed by what you're doing. And I've been alone for a long time that it's like, I can't stop now. I did stop for a few years and I wasn't well. I didn't feel good. And only now for the first time in months is my biology starting to align with, with my new lifestyle, which is getting back on the air, so to speak, YouTube, and going, okay, I've done Coast to Coast. Okay, Amy Goodman doesn't seem interested. Um, who should I, what should I be focused on next? What I know at minimum is, and I'll drop the price. Thank you to Jeff and others that got a copy of it, Search for the Truth. I'll drop it to $9.99 just to make it cheap for you to get. If you'd like it to be dropped to eight, nine ninety nine, it doesn't have to be twelve ninety five. I can't promise you. I'll try to make a mental note to that, but I'm not dropping any lower. But the idea is to keep it bottom priced, so that you get a copy of it. You can photocopy it, put some in blogs. Usually, the blogs in the members area will be posting the material first of books that will later be put out there. So my personal strategy will be diversified from. YouTube channels other than my main customized YouTube channels for certain topics or regions that I may be trying to reach with truth, bypassing the algorithm, not using my name in case that works against me in some cases, testing out some other methods, right? Not sharing my full life story with certain videos or my agenda really is just to help. And if I alienate someone by talking about certain issues or being too open about certain things because I'm looking for that sense of community, then in order for me to really help someone spiritually, I'm going to have to like let them be as they are. But though I don't want to help racists per se, but I will speak truth to them and encourage them to come to the other side. I'm just not seeing signs that my efforts are effective um, at that. At present, at present, what I'm doing is not pointless because even after I am gone from the flesh, there will still be copies of what I said. And it will still help people after the collapse and after the persecutions or possible camps 
death camps, whatever. After I am gone, there will still be copies of the things that I said. And karmically speaking, spiritually speaking, I will still be fighting for mankind. Like Ultimate Warrior sitting there talking about the immortalized speech, but it really immortalized for what? The WE? And then you, what? They have now the copyrights to you after like you're dead? It's kind of sad. But kind of there's essence of what he's saying. We want the essence of what we are to be eternal, especially if we were stood for something right. Right? We, we want what we lived for to live on. And so do, are we really just satisfied with just having children and children having children going, that's my name, that's my stamp on that cattle. That's for some people. That's not a system that I support. That's not a system that I come from. My understanding of the value is the value of the soul that animates the physical flesh who, who takes over that lower form and with all that ancestral programming and you look at me and what I am and we have a history of fighting amongst me. Okay, we have this conflict amongst me and people have actually made jokes in my presence about, you know, oh, your parents must really hate each other or, and it's like, wow, you don't even know the half of it. And then plus you have a little bit of that and that, like that's not normal. And people go, wow, you should never combine these things. And you end up with a person with a vast tapestry of information that in the end is going to live on in paperback. It started here in the spoken word, <laughs> spoken to a few hundred people. Some of them not even getting some of the main points of what I'm saying. And like the gold mine of info that I'm giving so many of you, even if you don't come here in peace, you've still been given freely info that you can use to better your own life, whatever your position, whatever your occupation, whether you worship Satan or whether you worship God, you have still been given freely by me lots of valuable information that can extend your life. And I haven't even gone all the way. Next on my list is going deeper into why people should not just unleash their rage on white people, even though the mind control program is probably going to do that. They're probably going to take over, just to warn you, internet, TV, like foreign governments, they're probably going to take over everything one day. Okay. And there'll probably be like this mass kill program through the TV with certain people brought up on TV that they target. And it's going to be like the running man scenario. And I'm not going to let any fear, okay... Stop me from warning you that this is going to be happening on some level. Let's go back to my other warning from a month ago. It's not just about Elon Musk, but just social media in itself. You see now how violent it is on Twitter. Maybe right now at the second, and I'm not on it, but it's like for a while they were ramping up really extreme violence before the eclipse. And I'm telling you, what if there's a mad scientist who knows about the solar flares like I do, who even maybe listen to me? Not that I gave them ideas. Don't ever, don't ever even think that. You gave them, oh God, <laughs> talk about some new age wacky to backy. Well, put that shit back. <laughs> Get rid of that dispensary. No, man. One guy's speculations about World War III is not going to manifest Chinese troops entering into America, kidnapping people and shit. But that's been my suspicion the whole time. If some of you think that some of my commentary debunks me if I get open about doing certain things. And by the way, when I went to that club, I turned around and walked away before even going in and seeing any poontang. I have not seen even, like, it, it's that I'm choosing folks to not, to not get in bed with the dirty side. That's what it is. Because I've done that in Portland. I've done that in Portland a lot. Right? I also know what it's like to be isolated off the grid without a shower, without washing your clothes, without a proper toilet, uh, you know, and more. And why, why I chose to live off grid without an electric razor shaver like I do now. I don't know. It's like I wanted that mountain man thing without even realizing it. Just, bro, electric shaver, aloe vera plants, frankincense and mirth, Palo Alto, meditation, getting away from the computer, getting closer to Christ without the church. Although I was doing the Gnostic thing. That's fine. Uh, Gnostic literature by itself, uh, interesting, but mm, a lot of Gnostic books I find to be a bore. My personal association with Gnosticism was the use of the term archon from a non-religious perspective, but my personal definition of archon or archons and my archon diatribe over the years, now this, because I've taken a bullet for you, America, planet Earth, you know, aliens watching this. Learning from this about the archons that are maybe anti-archon, that are pro-human. Hey, holla. 
so many of my words and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos will eventually be put into a book. And in that book, I'll try not to repeat myself. My goal is, is to get the essence of whatever I said without too much censorship, just mild grammatical corrections, maybe where need be, but probably very little of that is necessary for the spoken word from me. But speaking brutal honesty while homeless in Portland in my truck, talking about the open air asylum. And then hearing from others that have my shared understanding that want to speak with me privately when the time is right, maybe to do a podcast about what we've experienced with the dark feminine or how they might define it. And then Aaron E. has its own story in Portland. Um, so I've heard from a, a number of different people, specifically from Portland, that have dealt with a certain type of energy frequency from females that is not positive. And it is not misogyny to be a masculine sacred masculine teacher of women and to tell them in a healthy way that some of the uh, male partners that they've picked, I'll give you an example, may not have been the highest. I'll give you one example. So I talked with a certain person who I cared about for many years recently, so a number of emails. One of the things said, was that I consider 95% of the people that came into my life to be some form of inter interference. Even if there was some sort of lovey-dovey, some sort of like heartbreak type of like, I'm gonna love you, then I'm gonna leave you dry. And males too, from the heterosexual bro breakup type, leave you hanging and dry, and especially when you're off grid and you need a ride and you're stuck up on hills surrounded by Nazis or people on their way to becoming Nazis or people apathetic to the reality of Nazis or people that don't believe that Nazis exist while they're standing next to them with Nazi tattoos. It's just, folks, you can't make this stuff up, as the man says. So I've been there, done that. And man, folks, there's a lot of expertise that I have for you guys that I recommend that you absorb while we have this time. Because we don't know, that's why I'm here tonight. I'm here tonight because we don't know how much time there is before the power goes out and it's not gonna come back. And some of us are in areas that are gonna be more hit by what's coming than others. And then some of us don't know that we're gonna be in areas that in fact are gonna be less harmed by the cataclysms. And ultimately, it's the creator who's going to be positioning us in certain places on the globe. And if we're meant to be somewhere else, we're going to be removed from our environment and placed somewhere else, even if we don't want to. Okay? It's the winds of change. Likewise, if you're meant to stay in Portland, Oregon, you're not going to be leaving Portland, Oregon. You're going to be in Portland, Oregon for the coming changes. And so... I have gone through this conversations with God thing for years now as to my placement on the earth for whatever is to come. And I've been going through layers and layers in my private life with layers of fear as to because I consider this environment to be Hellraiser, Helter Skelter, Zombie Apocalypse 101. Got a book over here on it. Flipped to a random page from it the other day or whenever I did that video last Something about like thriller, watch out for the thriller dance. I'm just kidding. No, like watch out for the cracks in the wall. Like, oh shit. It's like, okay. <laughs> you know what? Might want to read the inches on this before you think you could take on a horde of zombies with this. You know, just run, dude. Just don't even bother. Run. These zombies, they're not looking for brains. And see, the thing that gets me is also you go to these gas stations, you pull up, doot, doot, doot. And then like the monitor from 1984 starts screaming at you like, are you prepared for the zombie apocalypse? Well, come on down for a nice little kiwi corn syrup soda. And it's like, what the, f what is going on here? Here I am trying to just get some gas. You make me get gas. Now you're trying to scare me about some zombie apocalypse. Then you have the zombie apocalypse dance in downtown in, in Portland. And then you got other types of zombie like events that have like started to infect the uh, American psyche. Okay, so here's some suggestions. You do a show, you make it look professional using modern technology. And then you have maybe a compelling card or cover letter and maybe a contact information with the post office and a phone number. There's a number of different ways you can get a phone number without putting your name associated with it, like one of those prepaid, which I have, from like Wally World, okay? 
You get that for your phone, okay, or something. There's magic. There's, there's different types of phone, internet phones too, uh, but I, I really don't like phones. The only reason I put a phone number out there is for an emergencies that I might be in. People can contact me and I can call them back without it being reliant on email, although it's all going through internet service anyways, uh, cell phone towers, and you're not really escaping the internet. And they got rid of land pay phones and most landlines, which is ridiculous that if I want to go on coast to coast AM, that I got to go to a motel, get a ley line. The ley line doesn't work because either the guy at the desk is retarded, which was very possible, or, or there was interference. Like I said, the phone kept ringing. I'm like, hello, nobody on it. Okay, and then I go back to the show with, with George Norrie, you know, and George Norrie's getting frustrated, probably, but he's not showing it. He's just going down the list of questions before I think he had enough or somebody says, you know what, pull the kid out, pull the plug. And I wonder how many times in Coast to Coast history that happened. And then, you know, my paranoia, you know, back of the brain is like, you know, who caused this? Who's the wizard behind the, who made the phone call? Alex Jones, Clyde Lewis, who is it? Who's getting in my way? Tom Dashdire, Rush Limbaugh lookalike, stunt for Rush Limbaugh, I know it's you. And I was just like, wow, man, and he can't control it. But at least I had the opportunity and it is what it is. So if you would like to see me give an example to you of like a random presentation, I think that the advice that I would give is to try a different approach than what I've done. Instead of tell your life story and all this and that, and load them up with all these perspectives. How can you help the most people? But you don't want to get in bed with people that are nefarious. So at some point, you're going to have to draw the line, speak in code, and be like, listen, there are certain things that I don't agree with, and I'm just not going to agree with this political worship, like whatever your, your candidate worship thing is, left or right. This hate thing going on, there's this going on, there's that, there's this supremacy, there's that. It's all happening, and I dislike it all. I want to bring people together in this community of, say, Aurora, Oregon, and let us talk about prepping for the event that, you know, there's a major disruption and the trucks on I-5 are no longer taking goods, you know, import from Mexico into California, up I-5 into Oregon. How are we going to survive bandits, people running around, looting, things of this nature? Are people properly armed? You have heard me in past videos talk about how a proper community would have maybe some, some martial artists, some fighters, some healers, some mediators, some cooks, people that can build, some doctors, somebody that does the ham radio, solar, CB radio, we talked about that, and the associated Faraday cages to EMP proof it, whether it be homemade or, or things that you buy off the internet, Okay. These are things that are very, very important to talk about. Um, I'm Alex Ansari, signing off now for April 15th, 2024. Uh, I'll be likely back with more.